Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rita Okolo. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so very much for joining us. If this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back. So, looking at my eyebrows right now, which brow do you think cost me $6? And which brow do you think cost me $126? Before today, we are going to be trying out the Benefit Times Desi Brow Box. And this brow box retails for $59, but it has a $126 value. We are going to be going in today and comparing my regular brow routine, which cost me $6 with these two products here, versus this product. And we're going to see how we feel in terms of the shading, in terms of the products, in terms of the versatility, and overall, how I feel the products do justify my brows. Both of my brows are done with two separate sets of routines. So before we do get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, join the fam. It does help to spread the word so that others can enjoy the same footage you are enjoying as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And of course, join the conversation down below and let me know what your thoughts are on this prod, on these products and which brow routine you think is definitely better. All right, let's get into it. I'm out here looking like I'm losing my eyebrow hairs and or maybe I got jaundice. But as you can see, eyebrows really do frame the face and they really do help to complete the look. Today, I'm going to be trying something a little different. My brow routine has been the same since the end of 2015. So like three years now, I've been doing the exact same routine with my brows and they've been drugstore products. But today, I wanted to actually try out the Benefit times Desi Perkins Bomb Ass Brow Brow Kit. First off, congratulations to Desi on this collaboration. I have never tried any Benefit brow products. The most expensive product I ever used on my brows was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and then the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil. And after those two finished, I never went back and purchased them again. I needed to find a more affordable option for myself. So today, we're going to be comparing the difference between my regular brow routine and this brow routine right here. Okay, so now we're a little more up close and personal here. For my brows, yeah, so I use the RK by Ruby Kisses line. I use the brow pencil in black brown. This pencil retails for like $1.99. So it's two bucks. This stuff is, I mean, it, it's $1.99. I can't really complain about that. I use a few of their brow mascaras. My favorite though is Rich Chocolate Brown. Um, I like the two, these two shades together. The dark brown has um, almost like an, a cool, a more cool tone, like gray brown tone to it. So when I add the Rich Chocolate Brown, it has more of like, um, it's like a red reddish brown. So it adds nice dimension um, onto my brows. So first I'm going to do my regular brow routine and I'm going to use this eyebrow because this eyebrow here is my more problematic eyebrow so I want to see how these products are going to perform on my problematic eyebrow I have a there's a spoolie that comes on the end of the um, eyebrow pencil I'm just gonna use that I'm now gonna go in and just trace my eyebrows I usually start at the bottom first and just fill in any sparse hairs so I'm filling in the tail end a little darker in the areas where I do have more sparse hairs. And I'm just gonna go back in with the spoolie again and just brush through the front, brush through the middle, the body. And I'm just combing the, the hairs in the direction in which they grow. This way I give myself a nice shape. Then the next thing I do in my brow routine is go in with the the brow pomade. This is the Go Brow by Ruby Kisses in the shade Rich Chocolate Brown and I'm just going to lightly brush that through. For me this helps to define my brow hairs and just helps to hold them in place. 
Then the last step I do is go in with um, some concealer and I'm just going to clean around the edges of my brow just to make the lines nice and crisp. This is the NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Nutmeg. And I'm gonna go in with a blending brush to blend out the front. So some people will would stop at this point, but I like my brows a little more crisp. So I actually like to clean up the top of my eyebrow as well. And I'm just blending that out up at the top here. This is typically what my brow looks like when I'm done. Like this is no eyebrow and then this is a brow. So now we're going to try out the Benefit Brow Box here. Um, I did watch Desi's video on how she does her brows. Desi has probably, honest to God, the best brows in the industry. Like her brow technique is so bomb. So she did first start off with the Foolproof Brow Powder. This is Foolproof Brow Powder in shade number five. It does have this interesting looking tool in here, but I'm not gonna use that. Desi used this angle brush, which looks really, really good actually. So it's got a spoolie on this end, so let me use that to just brush my brows down first so that I can expose the areas that do need to be filled in. I'm now gonna go in on the, see there's two shades here. So dipping into the product, I'm just gonna go in, fill in all the sparse areas, kind of draw and connect the ends of my brow. Oh, actually I really like this shade. So far, so good. I think the brow powder did a very good job of actually filling in the sparse areas. So it the product is actually clinging to my skin and it actually looks like it actually looks like it's filled in. I'm going to take the lighter pro brow product now. I just want to see what it does look like as well. Here are like strokes here at the front of my brow. That's uh the two shades together are really really nice. The next product, the Ultra Fine Brow Defining Pencil. And this product has another spoolie at the end. It's a lot of spoolies. And then the product is actually here. This is in shade number five as well. She's really skinny. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just trace out the outline of my brow. Ooh, this is really good to get like a sharp, crisp curve. I'm also gonna do the same thing at the top. Kind of just follow the arch there. Um, and it doesn't it doesn't take a lot of pressure to get the product onto the skin. I will say that's that's a difference I've noticed between my brow pencil and this brow pencil. Her brow is this product right here. I think it also has yeah, it's got its own tool as well. Oh my god, everything has its own tool. So this is what Cabrow looks like. It's um, I'm guessing it's like a brow pomade, and this is in the shade number six. This isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. I will just say I'm just not used to this many number of steps. Like this is a lot of this is a lot of steps. Then I'm going to go in with highbrow. This is the one product I think that actually scares me because she's pink. Like this isn't even I thought it was like white. Like no, this is like this is pink. Oh my god. Oh my god is white as Oh my god, it's white. So I'm getting a clean Sigma line perfector. And that's what I'm gonna use to try and to try and blend this out. Oh goodness. It's so white. I'm just gonna go in with my um brush that I used earlier just to kind of blend this area, this region out, my blending brush. 
I do apply concealer to the top of my brows as well so I do feel like I should go in with highbrow at the top of my brow I don't know I might be making a mistake by trying this out but I feel like I need to god help me let me do like dots instead of an actual line and use the line perfecter I'm gonna take blending brush and just clean the edges again I have to say like I'm I want to be 100% honest with you guys in terms of filling in the bald spot this is the best my brow has ever looked like ever the foolproof brow powder is actually a bang this is the best product in this box and it retails for $24 as it looks it's a lot of product in here and I didn't even need to use a lot this for $24 yeah it's worth it to me. I, I would buy this product. Now, let's talk about the brush. Okay, so the spoolie is really, really good. I think it's actually a really good density for the angled brush itself. The spoolie side is really, really great as well. How much does this retail for? $20. $20. Would I purchase this for $20? Quite honestly, no. I wouldn't purchase this for $20. Um, and the reason why I have to say that is because of the other tools in here that have you know an angle brush and that have a spoolie like this got a spoolie on the end i mean how many spoolies do i really need so let's talk about the brow pencil so the brow pencil itself retails for 24 dollars um let me see how much product you actually get in this okay this is all the product you're going to be getting that's it because it's not it's not going further than that. I had to use, I did use only like a little bit of product like this. This product goes a long way, but 24 bucks, bruh. Look at this, this is a pencil I've been using for a hot minute too, okay? So I, it, the pencil is usually like this, and you're gonna shave this all the way down to the bottom versus what I showed you here. So 24 bucks versus $2, I mean, now cabral this i think is also really nice i think it gave um because this shade is in number six it was able to give my brows um nice dimension after i used the other two products that did that were in shade number five that's really really nice about this cabral retails for 24 dollars as well so yes this is another 24 dollar product now i will say if i had to choose between this product and this product i would probably go with the cabral and the reason being is because if for example i decided i was going to buy the foolproof in order to fill in the sparse areas i could probably still use my old um brow pencil to fill in the lines and then use cabral as a touch-up i don't i don't necessarily know if these two are necessary together okay so now we're going to use the 24 hour brow setter Ooh, okay i have to say first off this is this wand is really amazing it's v doing a very good job at separating my brow hairs i like that i like this brow gel this also retails for 24 dollars would i pay 24 dollars for a brow gel yeah and the reason being is especially with a wand like this my favorite favorite type of brow is a natural looking brow like a full lush natural looking brow and this kind of product will definitely give you that it does an amazing job at separating the hairs making them look very very voluminous on their own like looking like nice individual strands so this 24 bucks is definitely worth it to me now the last product we need to talk about is highbrow my thoughts on the highbrow first off i don't think this shade is very woman of color friendly i'm gonna be very honest because of the pink hue it also has on it like yes it does give you a lifted brow but you can see the difference like on both brows i have a lift this is from using concealer and this one is from using the highbrow if I wanted to just do my eyebrows and go out, I would never be able to get away with highbrow because highbrow would stand out on my skin. If I'm going around with my natural skin and my brow, this is not going to work. It's not going to work. Okay, so I already have a problem with highbrow. Let me see if they have other shades. I think they need to make a shade that works well for women of color. Highbrow retails for $22 and they're saying it's a, it's a universally flattering linen pink shade. If you're dark skin like me, 
um, and if you even have olive undertones, if you can't just do your brows and go with highbrow, like highbrow will show on your skin. So for $22, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't purchase this product. It's a great product in terms of the consistency and the concept. I get it. I really do get it. But they need to make a, a more something with a little more yellow something with a little more golden undertones in it that's what i'm i need from highbrow um in order for me to say that yes i would purchase this because basically this is like a concealer in a pencil for your eyebrows and it does work it did a good job at cleaning up but i definitely 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 needed in a different shade i don't like this shade at all okay guys that is the end of this video thank you so very much for watching um i really hope you guys did enjoy this video comparing the two different brow routines and you know kind of veering out of my comfort zone and trying some new products when it does come to my brow routine um let me know below which products you do think are actually worth it which ones do you think you would be willing to try out and if you are using some of these products and you have any tips on how to use them um that would you know enhance my brow routine do let me know down below um, I do hope to see you in another video very soon, so I'm going to leave one right here for you so you can go click ahead and watch it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay blessed and stay golden.